Well, uh, hello, Pisces. Uh, let me get adjusted here. There we go. All right. Well, hello, Pisces. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter sign. So welcome back, Pisces, or welcome, if this is your first one, um, to another of your readings. I hope that you guys are all doing so very well. I'm actually recording this um, during Pisces season, so happy birthday to all of you Pisces out there who are celebrating during this season. So let's get your cards. All right, Pisces, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So use your intuition to tune into what the message is for you. All right, and last but not least, let's get your affirmations to go with your past, present, and future energy. There is one, present, and, okay. Peek sees, no peeking. <laughs> but we see that you are, okay, we're going to keep that one in and take this one. All right. All right, Pisces, let's do this. So, ah, all right, here we go. Okay, your tarot card for the week, Pisces. Oh, it is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. And so what I'm feeling is that there is an energy of reminiscing, an energy of past beautiful memories coming up to the surface at this time. It could be a past person, a past situation, something that brings you joy. It could be from your childhood. So maybe you find yourself thinking about something that you, you, you liked to do as a kid that just made you happy or, you know, maybe a friend that you played with or something to that effect but it does feel like you are in an energy of yeah reminiscing like I said so a past person could come up or a past situation maybe you're thinking of an old job that you used to have and hey I wonder what happened to that person or so it could be absolutely anything but it is something that brings you joy so that's a good energy. I love this card. It is so cute. Like, just look at all these butterflies. So, you know, butterflies like signify transformation. So I feel like whatever this is that is bringing that you or that is coming back up that you are reminiscing about is bringing some sort of transformation within you. So, yeah, I love it. Beautiful. In your recent past energy, ooh, you have exposed and revealed. Exposed and revealed. So I'm going to actually read what the key concepts are for this particular card because I forget. Um, so the key concepts for this exposed and revealed is healing shame, the imposter syndrome, Letting go of self-condemnation, freedom from past unresolved wounds, focusing on self-worth, and the underlying beauty in rejection. So, the main thing that stuck out to me in this is how it says focusing on self-worth self and, so, and, and freedom from from past unresolved wounds. So I feel that in your recent past, you have been tuning into the energies of 
focusing what it is or learning or observing what it is that you need to you need it to do to heal your own self-worth and heal any past wounds that you have experienced so when we you know as we go through childhood there are many things that we um, experience and those things when we get older they still stay with us and if we don't go back and help to heal those things and they stay with us and then they filter into the way that we make decisions moving forward so I feel that in your recent past energy you were looking into whatever childhood childhood traumas or childhood wounds or anything that you experienced that made you feel exposed and revealed and you have been tuning into those to heal your own self-worth so that is beautiful beautiful energy Pisces and your affirmation comes from the first chakra which is our root chakra and it says the contact with mother earth nourishes heals and protects me the contact with mother earth nourishes heals and protects me and this is card number 33 and 33 is the number of the ascended masters so I'm feeling that you are protected and as you've been going through to heal you know, the past wounds and your own self-worth that is helping you to heal your first chakra which is your root chakra and our root chakra is the chakra of our sense of security our our safety like it's the part of us that feels safe in the world and this you revisiting your recent past has helped you to feel more safe and secure within the world within on mother earth so it says the contact with mother earth nourishes heals and protects me and you know perhaps you've been finding yourself being out more in mother nature so you know being in the grass um, walking barefoot touching the trees or just enjoying the sounds of the birds and bringing your really bringing yourself into that feeling and grounding yourself in the energy knowing that you are safe and that you are protected no matter what so healing that part of your child trauma if there is that but healing that part of yourself that didn't feel secure or worthy before so that is beautiful energy in your present energy you have a merry motive a merry motive and so in this what I'm feeling is that you are finding yourself motivated to to step into a new version of yourself you are setting goals from for yourself and you are looking deeper at those goals and asking yourself where the motivation comes from for those goals um, it feels like you are daring yourself to be bigger to be bolder to step outside of your comfort zone and you're looking at it and asking it look it feels like you're looking at your at it and asking yourself do I dare to do this do I dare to you know step outside of being who everybody else is so used to me being am I really do I want to 
still be one of these little small stars or do I want to be the brightest star? Am I ready to step into this new version of myself? So this is what I'm feeling is in your present energy right now. A merry motive. I like that. I love it. I love this card and like those stars that are right here like hanging on the line and like you deciding which one you want to be and daring yourself to be the biggest one so i love it your affirmation is from the secondary chakra yin well actually no no affirmation your affirmation card um but there is no affirmation this is just the secondary chakra yin energy so as you are setting these goals and looking within yourself you are helping to heal your own inner feminine energy so <clears throat> excuse me so we all have masculine and feminine energy within us as human beings and as you are in your current energy of deciding where it is that you want to go what it is that you want to do it is helping you to heal your your inner feminine energy and our inner feminine energy is our intuition it's compassion it's our nurturing it's our healing so all of that as you are deciding what it is that you want to do you know it's it's an inner job um this is healing your feminine energy. So that is super beautiful. That really is beautiful. So moving in to the future. Wow, I love it. You have the storyteller. So the storyteller. So in your future energy, you are telling your story, Pisces. You are telling your story how you want to tell it your the pages of your book are empty and you are choosing what to write you are choosing what keys unlock and open you to who you are what is it that you want to share with the world about you you are telling your story like it is your time to tell your story and you are stepping into the energy of doing that and it feels so good I'm so excited it feels so good and so like I don't know I just got like this energy of just getting super excited and so yeah I feel like whatever it is it feels so good for you and you are very excited to do it so yeah what is the story that you're going to tell about yourself your affirmation is from the fifth chakra which is our throat chakra I mean perfect for your storytelling number 63 and it says my actions lovingly support the development of everyone involved my actions lovingly support the development of everyone involved so as you move forward and you start to st tell your story you are helping, your story is helping people that are around you, the people that are reading your story, hearing your story, um, yeah, listening, yeah, um, obviously I said hearing, but listening, listening to your story, it is helping those around you to take the same actions to start telling their own story, to take the same actions to start making their own motives, to take the same actions to get through their own exposed and revealed energies. And so you are becoming a, it's like you are just helping those around you. You're helping everyone who comes in contact with you by telling your story. So that is super beautiful. That's so beautiful. And so this energy of the Six of Cups, it's you coming into alignment with yourself, coming back into alignment with your inner child and healing the parts of yourself that 
need to be healed that maybe you forgot about for a long time and have gone back and revisited so amazing that this is a beautiful reading Pisces so I want to say thank you for stopping by the channel today and checking out this reading if you made it this far then thank you I appreciate it so very much so Pisces this has been your weekly energy check-in I hope you found something that you resonate with and if you did please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already I love you so very much Pisces and I will see you in your next one